am calling to see, um, I have a 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan and my check engine light is on. Um, is it something to leave with us or you need to wait for it? Or? Um, what, what are your options? <laughs> well, I mean, we can get in sooner if you can drop it off with us. If you need to wait on it, we have to put a specific time, you know, when you're coming in. I can drop it off, yeah. I mean, if you want to drop it off today, I can try to get in today, but I can't guarantee it. But if you want to do it tomorrow, I for sure can drop it off tomorrow. I can get to it for you. Okay. Um, could I drop it off like tonight, possibly? And just you sure. guys still have the little key drop thing? Yeah, we sure do. We have the night drop. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, make sure you fill out the envelope and make sure you sign it. We do have to have a signed work uh, envelope for us to work on it. Okay? okay. Do you need any more information from me or? No, just fill out what you have on the uh, on the uh, on the envelope there, and sign it. Put your keys in it. Put it through the door. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Okay. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it. Yep. Mm, bye. Bye. <laughs> well, there we have it, guys. Faith is finally going to the shop. <sighs> now, keep my fingers crossed that it's not going to cost me a lot of money, please. Anyways, I'm gonna. I've already made arrangements um, to get my car to the shop. So either my mom's going to help me or my husband's going to help me. Because um, when I, I'm going to need a ride after I drop it off. And then, of course, if I decide that I want them to do the work, whatever is wrong with it, then I'll need someone to take me to pick up my car. I mean, yeah, I could do Uber and all that. No, I got family, okay? I have family. Okay, and they're not going to charge me anything. Okay, okay, okay. That's my business. But I am glad that Faith is finally going into the shop, guys, because I am ready to go. I'm ready to go somewhere. I am so, so ready to go. So ready to get on the road and just getting my car checked out, making sure my car is okay. I mean, I'm saying car, but you guys know what I mean. My van. <clears throat> making sure everything's okay will definitely make my trip more enjoyable okay so i don't know what's gonna happen so I don't, you know i hate to not have my car for days i don't know you know so we'll see we'll see we'll see but i've been procrastinating one i don't want them to, i don't want to bill two i i, I didn't want to give up my car so we'll see but it needs to get done yeah Alrighty guys, I am at the dealership, oh not the dealership, I'm at my mechanics and I'm about to drop off my car and um, since my car is going to be here overnight for sure, I live in St. Louis as I always say, as I always say, this is a high crime state, so I took out my valuables in my vehicle prior to uh, dropping my vehicle off and I'm going to show you, sorry about that. I'm going to show you what I did. Okay. <laughs> oh, some stuff fell. So, as you can see, I took out my power station and my refrigerator and my laptop. And um, I think the Jackery can stay. I think that'll be okay. But yeah, I took all of that out, guys. And yeah, so I took all of that out. And that is at my mom's. All that stuff is at my mom's. That way, I'm just saying if it happened where my car got broken into, at least I still have my valuables. Anyways, um, I was going to drop my key off, but I think they're still open. So... Let me go in there and see if, oh, let me get some stuff out of here. Hold on, guys. You 
said he can probably get me in tomorrow. Okay. What's, More than likely. I have my check engine lights on. Okay. What's the last name? My heart is pounding. Hello, Mark. Um, I was calling for Curtis. Have you called for who? I'm sorry. Curtis. Curtis? Yeah, can you hang on a moment? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, my heart is. I can feel it. Yeah. Um, I diagnosed the uh, one of the concerns. You got two codes. One of which is for a thermostat, the other one I believe is for a catalytic converter. Um, but I want to first replace the thermostat, take care of that concern first, and then drive it, of course clear codes, drive it, see if uh, anything comes back. If, if uh, the code does not return for the 420, um, I would like disregard but uh, if the code, if it does come back, we'll probably have to look into a catalytic converter replacement. Um, well, well, let's just start with that, um, with the thermostat and the radiator cap. Okay, All right, I'll go ahead and order those parts. Well, you heard all of that, so. I mean, we got to get it done, got to get it done, got to get it done. So we'll see what happens um, after he fixes the thermostat and the radiator cap. We'll see if I need to replace my Cadillac converter. All righty, guys, I am back in faith. Let's turn her on. And no check engine light, it's off. So I am excited to finally have my car back, my van. Yeah, let's. Everything looks good. Everything looks good in here. Yeah. So now I just gotta head back to my mom's and pick up my valuables, okay? If you've been following my channel, you know that I have had some repairs. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, from the oil leak to the rockers to the camshaft now what was wrong with it was the um my thermometer and uh my radiator cap so i replaced those two and that was about four hundred dollars there so uh my check engine light did not come back on when he replaced my thermometer but i'm still gonna keep my eye on it because before um, my check engine light would come on and then it would shut off and then it would come on and then it would shut off, kind of like that. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and they said if it comes back on, just bring it back up and Blase Skippy will go from there. <laughs> so these are one of those moments where I count my blessings and I'm very grateful, grateful that um, I had a means of taking care of these issues with my vehicle. So I am counting my blessings. Um, definitely I said some prayers. <laughs> so I am just happy that I'm able to fix it and take care of it and things like that. So, you know, in this lifestyle, this happens. I mean, vehicles, houses, anything man-made in my eyes is not built to last. Something is going to go wrong and you just have to be prepared for those moments. So I'm just glad that 
I was prepared for this moment. So <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys in here. Um, I still got a few more personal businesses, business to take care of before I head out of town because I just can't just get up and go um, <laughs> right now. I got personal things to take care of. As you guys know, I'm going through a divorce and I have to be available to check my mail and things like that. And they said they sent me one document and I, I, I didn't get it. I don't know. So I just got things I need to take care of that and I gotta file my taxes. So those are two more things that I need to take care of before I head out of town. <sighs> but at least this part is done. So that was three things I need to do. One down, two to go. <laughs> So I'm going to end this video here, guys. You know, thank you for taking the time. Oh, it's got windy. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video. <laughs> yeah, it got windy. I don't know if it's going to affect the sound. Yeah, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it, guys. And like I always say, live your joy, travel safely, and I'll see you on the next video. Shalom.